Hello everyone. So today we went and got our annual fishing licenses as well as our first adventure pass. In the state of California, you need a fishing license to fish pretty much anywhere except for a pier or a jetty. So all that means all freshwater bodies, beaches, things like that. If you're above the age of 16, you must have this license. And it's pretty easy to get. You just go to any um, convenience store almost, especially near lakes or a sporting goods store, they carry these. And uh, yeah, and you just go to the counter, you just say, I need a fishing license. They ask to see your ID and they get your information and you pay and that's it. The fishing license that you purchase is strictly for within the state that you're from. So we have a California fishing license. So if we want to go to a neighboring state, like maybe Nevada, Nevada, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we want to fish there, we need to buy a Nevada fishing license. So in the state of California and other states as well, I'm sure, if you live out of state and you go and try to get a fishing license, you'll pretty much be limited to a license uh, that's anywhere valid from just that day. So one day, maybe through a 10 day license. Uh, that 10 day license or seven day or whatever it is, is gonna cost you as much or more than a residence um, annual license. Maybe we can find a website that lists the amount. Yeah, we'll yeah. put the links in the description below here. Mm -hmm. The California's fishing license, it expires at the end of the year. So it's not like you buy in right now February and then expires next February. It will expire by the end of 2019 at the end of December. Yeah. The regular fishing license costs $49.94. And the saltwater stamp or the ocean enhancement costs an extra $5.66. So in total, I paid $55.60 for my license today. And like she said, it expires at the end of December. So it's a better value to buy it sooner in the year. Mm -hmm. So this is what a fishing license looks like. I'm covering up this part because it has all of my name and details. It's usually green, but this year they changed it to orange. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you want to bring this with you every time you go fishing. Mm -hmm. Have it on your person. Yeah, it used to be that you had to have it visible for the game warden to see, but uh, these days I think they've changed it. So you can just keep it in your wallet. That's where I keep mine. It's a, a receipt, but it's made from this kind of uh, plastic. Waxy so, paper. Yeah, it's waterproof. This is what our adventure pass looks like. You're supposed to remove this thing. And then you can hang it here. Yes. This adventure pass is specific to California. Uh, we have four national forests, uh, pretty close to us actually. Anywhere that's not a developed campground or somewhere that you would pay to park overnight with facilities, uh, you need this pass so you can park on the roadsides and wander off backpacking or hiking mm -hmm. or whatever it is. Yeah, and this was $30. This one will expire <laughs> one year from the date of purchase. Mm -hmm. So in this case, it's February right now. So next year, February of 2020, it will be expired. Yeah, yeah. at the end of the month. So you see the cashier, she punched a hole here. So February yeah. 2020. It's not personalized, you know, it's none of our name on here. And it's per vehicle. So while the fishing license is for the individual, it's per person. This is per vehicle, so you guys can pile it in one vehicle and take this adventure yeah. pass with you. Or if you have two cars, you know, you just rotate it. Yeah. Yeah. We just read the back of this pass and it mentioned that second vehicle pass costs an additional $5. You can check out the list online, we'll leave the link in the description. Mm -hmm. Permits and passes page Yeah. on the forestry service site. Yeah, so for us, we went to the Big Five near our place, which is a sporting goods store for those who do not know. Mm -hmm. So we went to the cashier and then we purchased this adventure pass. So if you want to buy a second vehicle pass, you just bring this existing pass that you own and then they will charge you an extra $5 for the second one instead of the regular $30 for just one. Mm -hmm. So armed with our new fishing license and our adventure pass, we're all set for 2019 adventures. Yeah, this will be good for us when we want to go backpacking. And you need the license too. <laughs> okay, make sure you like this video, subscribe please, and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye.